Sport now takes you to the Southern Cross Hotel for the counting of votes in the 1993 Charles Brownlow Medal. Well, I was going to ask you who you thought would win the Brownlow Rouge, but I'm not. Tammy, who do you think would win the Brownlow and why? I you mean, don't have to say Paul, just because no. you're with him. <laughs> I think Minchie has a pretty good chance. Yeah, he's had a great year, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, very good year. Um, not really sure. Maybe Glenn. Glenn Lovett. Yeah. Why do you think that? Oh, he's had a pretty good year. Oh, um, <laughs> maybe Greg Williams. Why do you think that? Just because I think he's been he playing quite well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think Greg Williams might win tonight. Wayne Carey, because I am employed by the club and I'm instructed to say that. <laughs> oh. um, I think Alistair Lynch has probably got a chance. Why do you think that? Apart from Glenn. Oh, Joe, naturally. Uh, why? <laughs> You don't have to say Joe just because you came with him. <laughs> no, I honestly do believe he'd be Joe. <laughs> Greg Williams. And why? Because he's the only one I know. I'll say McGuinness because that's who he reckons. <laughs> why is that? Because he reckons McGuinness. Um, Wayne Carey. Because he plays for North Melbourne. Fair Dinkum, no? Fair Dinkum, um, Greg Williams. And why? He's a damn good player. Ah, good reason. <laughs> <Damn good. laughs> Welcome to the Southern Cross Hotel through the Seven Network for the counting of votes for the 1993 Brownlow Medal. The medal is named after the former Geelong Football Club administrator Charles Brownlow and a Geelong sentiment Kaji Grease won the very first in 1924. For almost 70 years the greats of the game have been recognised on this night and the game has changed and so has this presentation but the honour remains the same. The AFL auditors, the international accounting firm KPMG Pete Marwick, have again supervised the removal of the votes cast by the umpires from the vault at Armour Guard, where they have accumulated throughout the season. KPMG Pete Marwick have satisfied themselves that the correct number of votes have been cast and that they were intact on removal from the vault. KPMG Pete Marwick partners Paul Shannon and Brian Jamison are here tonight and they've kept the votes under their scrutiny since the vault was open early this evening. There's always speculation on this evening, always favourites. And tonight, Greg Williams from Carlton, hoping to become only the third man to win the Brownlow with different clubs. Also, Wayne Carey, the North Melbourne captain, hoping to overcome the centre-half forward hoodoo. Alistair Lynch has been heavily back from Fitzroy, a star at both ends of the ground. And Tony McGuinness, the Adelaide Rover, hoping to join Malcolm Blight and John Platten as winners of the Brownlow, who have already won the McGarry medal. Will it be one of those four men or somebody else who takes Charlie home with them tonight? So we've come to the time of year The coaches and players are gathered round here the tension's high, the neckties are tight, all the weight will take Charlie home tonight. Has Diesel caught the umpire's eye? Alistair Lynch, are you ready to fly? Has Carey the roof got the medal in sight? Will Madra the crow fly Charlie home tonight? Make a speech with a teardrop in his eye. Who'll take the medal that money just can't buy? Who'll be our champion? Celebration's gonna start. Who will a brown low on his heart? Who's gonna take the brown low away? Which place? Take another brown low, McKenna Buckley, Wanganeen Mike, Will Dasher McGuinness take Charlie home tonight? Who'll make a speech with a teardrop in his eye? Who'll take the medal that money just can't buy? Charlie Home 
G as we look at round one highlights. Nearly 60,000 fans kicked off.